A very warm welcome back to On Cue Billiards in La Mesa. I'm breaking the balls here. This is a winner side round three tie against Tony Castro. He's a 646 Fargo, so he's an A player. Whereas I'm a B player, so we both race the three, but I can win with either the eight or the nine. So I made one off the break, taking this three. Actually, I made two off the break, didn't I? One and two. Took the three there. I've got a thin cut on the four. Really played that more of a safety in mind. I was trying to get the cue ball down to this end rail, but uh, that collision has put pay to that idea. I've left Tony with his hand on the table and a thin cut on the four. Nice shot. Length of the table, five ball. And that's a rare mistake from Tony. He doesn't make many of those. And a scratch as well gives me a really nice opportunity to run forward and get a nice shape on the six. Now these tables were recovered today. So they grip like crazy and it's quite easy to get nice draw on there. So I dialed it down a little bit and almost hooked myself behind the nine, but I'm very fortunate. I can just about reach it with a bit of spin, like drag and lots of left hand side on that one. And so you'll see what I mean now. If I pop this eight ball, because I'm on eight or nine, I'm a B player against today. I've won the game with that shot. Whereas Tony, he would have had to carry on and win by potting the nine. So break the balls. Again, got one off the break, a bit fortunate, but no shot. So I've played a push out. Tony doesn't like the look of it, so he's put me back in. I was thinking I could do a thin edge here and get all the way down and behind the four ball, but as you see, I'm on the wrong side of it. So once again, I've left Tony a long shot and a beautiful strike there. Bottom and right hand side to pull the cue ball back towards the three. Very nice shot on the three. Leaves himself a thin cut on the four. And you can see he's quite a fluent player, Tony, when he gets going. Maybe not the most orthodox of cue actions. He's got that little feathering action. And he doesn't get fully down on the cue. And there's also a little bit of body movement, but none of that deters him from being a really excellent player. As you can see, by the way, he's just running through these balls. Very nicely played on the eight on the nine maybe a fraction too far but nice and steady so he's not going to miss that so a nice run out there <clears throat> makes it one rack all a nice break there a couple of balls down and he's got a one ball cut along that left hand long rail very nice shot two in the opposite corner And an uncharacteristic miss there, but not left a lot. A little bit later, I'd give him ball in hand and he managed to miss that one. I'm picking up my cue, walking around to the table and, oh, he manages to get a bit of a sloppy shot. Then the three's down. Four coming around nicely. And shape on the eight. getting my hopes up in vain as he makes the eight and he's going to take the lead here with this nine ball two one to Tony and he's just one more well, it looks like a dry break this time I've got an opportunity to hook him just do a stop shot make sure you don't get the one as a, the bank in on the one you can just come off one rail here and just try and make this in the corner. I'm not far off. I'm trying to two in one here. I could try and deflect it in off the five, but also get the cue ball down off two rails or three rails, hide it behind the four. So I did a nice uh, jump shot. Make contact with his left hand with a makeable shot here. Bottom right hand side, taking the cue ball back down towards the two. That's not the right line. Almost hooked myself on the two. A couple of safety shots later, I actually gave him ball in hand and he had that uh, two ball. There goes the three, he's coming down the table now. He does need to do a breakout here, though. Six and seven are glued together. And he's managed to stick to the seven. So he's got a tough kick here for the six. And I think I mentioned these tables were recovered. 
So what it means is the throw away from the cushion is uh, not as you would expect. So I put myself a little straight, but if I draw back a few feet, I should have a straightforward eight ball. And of course, being a B player, all I need is the eight. And I tie the match up at two each. There we go, hill, hill. Made one off the break and the one is dressed up real nice. It's a little straight, but I've got the two sitting over the pocket. It wasn't a very nice stroke that a bit of a bit of a snatchy delivery, so I didn't quite get the action I was looking for, but fortunately the angle that I had there revealed uh, quite a good position. Just going forward, make sure I don't leave myself too straight because I want to get across the table. I've got another thin cut lined up there next to the nine ball. Thinner than it looks this. And I must admit, I lost control of the cue ball here. I was trying to make the seven in the side pocket. I've ended up tree tucked over the eight ball. I've got to try it in the corner. Awkward cueing and not a very nice stroke. So I'm fearing the worst at this stage. Um, the, the seven does pass the nine. You could also try and carry him in the nine. But he cuts it in without touching the sides and he's got this eight up in the corner and this really is for the match and a very uncharacteristic miss gives him an opportunity it's super thin but all i need is this eight and it's a reprieve as far as i'm concerned and delighted to see that drop in handshake for tony and i progress to the next round 